guys how are you welcome back to my channel uh, today we're going to actually show you how you set up your ketogenic diet in my fitness pill application and, and also I'm going to show you two other um, applications that I use in my phone to help me uh, get track of my ketogenic diet let's go let's do it now okay guys let's start um you sign up with either email or your facebook account and then let's open this application so for your setup you have to choose what is your goal if you want to lose weight or maintain or gain weight okay so next step will be how active are you so if you're sedentary okay if you're sedentary and you're likely active or you're active or you're very active select that and now you have to put what is your height uh, how much do you weight and what is your goal weight so you type those there All right, so now that we have set up uh, our account, I'm going to show you how you set up your macros and your calories. Then uh, we're going to go now and we're going to click on goals. Okay, we click on more and goals. And now calories and macronutrient goals. So I want to change my calories to 1300, which is my intake, daily intake. And now I'm changing the macros to my macros, which is 5% carbs, 20% protein, and 75% of fat. And click OK. Then we have 1,300 calories, and we have our macros, and it tells us um, what is the actually uh, per, uh, per grams, grams per macros. So now let's log in the food let's log on breakfast uh, let's type uh, here uh, bulletproof coffee let's search for a bulletproof coffee and we're gonna select the one that match our type you can also uh, sell, um, search for just coffee plain coffee and you search for butter and search for your coconut oil uh, individually so now that we have that, I'm searching for X. So let's go to X, a large X, and I'm going to select the first one and I'm going to change the number to 3X. And I'm going to click OK. So now we have 463 calories total for breakfast. And I'm going to up the butter because I cook the X with butter. And I select the first one, which is 2 teaspoons of butter and click OK. So, um, in that way we're going to search for our food for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Okay, so I'm going to add some cheese and click OK. So, I have my breakfast already locked. Okay, and I'm going to um, look for lunch. Oh, let's actually do some snacks. So in my snacks, I'm looking for avocado. So I select the first one and then click OK. And now I can log in my actually, um, I can look in my nutrition sheet and I can see how much protein I have left, how much fat I have left, and how much carbohydrate hydrate has uh, I have left so now we have we have an idea where we can eat the rest of the day so I'm going to log in lunch on um, let's do a typically lunch is a steak or chicken let's do chicken 
and she can type. Then I'm going to the ones that I buy. I can scan the food also. Um, if you have the package with the um, bars, so you can scan on the top of the application. That will be easier and faster and you know more secure. So now I'm going to select the chicken and click OK. And it says this food has is high in protein. So um, let's click on nutritious again. Now I do have 9 grams of fat left, 19 grams of protein left, and the carbs are only 3 grams left. So I can actually eat something else and my dinner I will select um, what about if I search for um, maybe more chicken and then chicken breast okay I'm, uh, let's select chicken breast and now I can select chicken breast and go and check my nutrition again. Now that I actually have 12 grams of protein over 13 grams carbs, but 13 grams uh, carbs, total carbs, minus 10 grams of fiber, which is great. So it means that I only ate 3 grams of carbs. So when I have 17 uh, calories remaining. So this is actually how I look at my food and it's very 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 close to um, to the calories intake that I have to you know make for the rest of the day so now I can log in I can okay this is a perfect you know day you only have seven grams of fat and one gram over in protein so it's very 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 good it's almost perfect and then here um, and dinner because I do still have some fat left so I can add some butter and then click OK and let's go back to the nutrition and one gram over only in fat so I ate 111 grams of fat and I went, so I got my protein goal, my fat goal, and my carbs almost um, ate, ate all. So if you log in your exercise, okay, you can log in cardio, if you do some cardio. So let's say I walk, okay, I have some cardio. And you can search the exercise also, or you can just scroll down until you find the one um, match your exercise. So I'm going to select um, circuit training general. So and I'm going to put 30 minutes. So no, I'm going to do 15 minutes and it will give me actually more calories um, at the end of the day if I want to eat a little more because I work out. So it's 128 calories more. So I'm going to eat, let's say I went to work out and I want to and I have my dinner so now I can eat some spinach, um, add it to my meal and then um, olive oil. I cook those and olive oil. Okay and click OK and I go to the nutrition and check that again how my macros look now it's perfect I, went, I, I have 125 grams of fat and almost my protein and point also and my carbs actually I, I was uh, under and my carbs but it's okay because I ate a lot of fiber so it's telling me that I will lose like three pounds in so many days. Alright, so this is basically how I said.
and that is how you log in your food that is how you start up um, my fitness spell for the ketogenic diet and I can actually log my water intake also if I have one two three four five six seven eight so it reminds me that I need to drink you know whatever number of glass of water you have for your day and then you can log in your weight and you can log in um, you can add your progress picture you can um, just add your status and it's a community there and you can actually you know find some friends also they are actually doing the same thing you're doing and have the same goals that you're doing and well and this is the progress um, the progress uh, actually graphic so it's telling you, well, it depends on the phone that you have, but it's, it's telling you the steps, calorie adjustment, and that's it, guys. So that is how you set up your my my fitness pill for a ketogenic diet. I have this um, wonderful application also, is the Keto Diet Guy. So this one is actually like a book. Okay, it have a lot of topics and it has um it has the, the the book and it has the also recipes so you can actually go here and get some inspirations for your um uh, for your meals and you can actually click in main dishes side salad snacks and desserts so i have a really 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 nice you know uh, recipes here and easy and they are delicious I try a few of them and really I love those recipes so I would recommend you if you are in a ketogenic diet or you get into a ketogenic diet or even if you are not in keto but if you want to um, eat with low carbs uh, check this application and this is very nice application for a low carb diet. Okay, um, I really like it. And then I have this is a few applications that I use for recipes, and this is the one that I use to log in my weight. Okay, um, you can log in your weight uh, weekly, daily, or monthly. Uh, the frequency is not a problem, whatever you want to do. But you can actually track your weight. You can actually see how you change. If you lose weight, if you gain weight, so you can see how and why. All right, so now that we know how we set up our ketogenic diet and our uh, my fitness pill, and we're going to get, you know, more control like this. Okay, I promise you, if you follow that, you're going to be good in ketogenic diet. You're going to be, you know, in a happy place. I promise you. Then, uh, watch my video for actually how do I start my ketogenic diet. If you're new in this uh, journey, if you're new in the keto, or if you want to start ketogenic diet, check the video because I explain in that video how you calculate your macros, how to go to a website that will help you to do that, how you calculate your actually calories and your macros. So you can transfer those here to the application. Okay, so check the video. If you like this video, please give us a like. How you do, um, what kind of applications actually you use to track in your macros and your calories, everything. Maybe it's one there that's better than this. And then share with me. So if you have any questions, guys, please leave any questions in the comment section. I promise you I will answer all the questions. If you want me to make another video, just leave in the comment also and I will do it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.